So today I'm here with the legend, Morgan Yeager, of course, <laughs> from up? the University of Oregon. I had to wear my Oregon shirt just to <laughs> rep the school, you know. You know, that's represent how it is. Represent Portland. Yeah, represent, of course, of course. And Morgan, she, I know a long story with the, how LeBron gave you his shoes. Yeah. That, that must have been crazy. We'll talk about that later though. We'll talk about that later. But you played with Sabrina Inescu, yep. number one pick in the WNBA draft. Yeah. And you also played with two of the top eight picks, two mm. other ones. Yeah, I must did. Must have been crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I played with Sabrina um, and then Satu uh, yeah. Sabali. She went number two. Yeah. And then uh, Ruthie. Like, they're amazing. There are some amazing people yeah. as well as athletes and they were just like one of a kind sort of talent. So, yeah. Yeah. And so are you. So are you. Oh, thank so you. So that's thank good. You. <laughs> okay. So basically, chicken or beef burgers? Beef. Beef. Okay. Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. <laughs> of course. <laughs> TikTok or Snapchat? Uh, Snapchat. Yeah. Offense or defense? Defense. Defense? Yeah. Wow. I'm going to lock you up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Dogs, dogs. <laughs> College basketball or WNBL? College basketball. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee, okay. Sneakers or heels? <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> sneakers. You are a lot of sneakers. Crazy. One would say too many. <laughs> I wouldn't say that though. <laughs> Cardio or weight training? Um, weight training. Kobe or LeBron? Kobe. Kobe. Because you met, you ha have you met both of them? Uh, I haven't met LeBron. Yeah. And I've met Kobe, which yeah. was, yeah, probably one of the most memorable experiences of my life. Yeah. Um, but I will say that LeBron tweeted at me one time. So that was crazy. That was you told me about that. Yeah. That's, but that was how, how did that happen? So we had the PK80, which was Phil Knight's um, 80th birthday. Um, he's the like founder of Nike. So we had a basketball tournament for his 80th birthday and um, every athlete got a pair of LeBrons um, which were like one of a kind like we no other players got them they're not for sale um, and after we got them I tweeted like oh my gosh like we got these shoes thank you LeBron like thank you for all you do whatever blah 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 and he replied saying you're very welcome Morgan good luck in the tournament ah! so yeah so LeBron knows who you are. Not a big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> McDonald's or In-N-Out? In-N-Out. 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 Okay. <laughs> Early trainings. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Camping? Yeah. Yes. Country music? No. Fishing? Yeah, I like fishing. It's very boring. That's fun. Very boring. It's fun. Yeah, it's, it's peaceful. Okay. And then you can eat it. True. True. Yeah. yeah. I mean, waterboarding. Yeah. I heard you're really good at it. Yeah, I like wakeboarding. Behind yeah. a boat. Yeah. Wakeboarding. wakeboarding my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite hobby or thing to do other than basketball? Um, probably drawing. Um, I was an art major in college, so um, yeah, I love. Been drawing, doing art, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I've seen your art. It's amazing. <laughs> it's Thank crazy. You. Thank you. I saw that one of um, Kobe. Yeah. You did one of Kobe. I'm still working on that. That one's like a. I want it to be really good, so it's, I'm taking my time with it. Yeah, no, that's so. awesome. Favorite fast food? Probably. I don't know if Australians will know this, but Chick Fil A. Oh my god. In America, Chick Fil A. So good. It's really good. What's your favorite basketball memory? Meeting Kobe. Meeting Kobe. Yeah. yeah. So how did that happen? How did you guys meet Kobe? So the first time we met Kobe, we, well, first of all, we had no idea it was happening. Um, and we started warming up. We were playing USC um, in LA. And we were warming up and we looked down at the other end of the court and we we're like, is that Kobe? What, like, what the heck? Like, and we just lost it. We were like, oh my God, that's Kobe. And then, um, he was watching our game with Gigi and um, we, after the game we went to the locker room and our coach was like, hey guys, so just hang around here for a minute, we got someone you, we want you to meet and then he walked in with um, Gigi's daughter and um, a couple other fans and 
it was it's unreal like he was That's just crazy. crazy in awe yeah. yeah how would you spend your dream day mm, my dream day would probably be spent like at the beach with my dog and um, with just like like my mum and dad or my like best friends um, with lots of food of course. So yeah, so cheat day too. Family, <laughs> friends, beach, dog, food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, one of the last ones. How would you describe yourself in three hashtags? Um, goofy. Uh, understanding and competitive. Of course. Yeah. So, what would be your message to someone who would like to go to college, like like me, for example? Well, my first, I think one of the best pieces of, pieces of advice I got was from someone who didn't go to college. And if you if you are looking, if you're in high school and looking for like to go to college or figuring out what you want to do, um, I say try college because if you don't like it you can always come back yeah. the things like nbl one and wmbl they'll always be here they'll always be here if you want to come back and do that but yeah. i think the experiences you can gain from playing basketball against different people living on your own life experiences just i i think that you don't find them anywhere else so yeah 100 yeah. my last question mm -hmm. is how was it playing with the, num the top two picks in the world like how like how was your relationship with them how was it playing with them what kind of teammates were they like that um, kind of stuff it was i mean it's intense like it's it's a different level and it's a different level playing at college and then if you're playing with i mean i would if if there is a player i've seen play and played with that plays like Kobe it's sad yeah. like that killer mentality that like will not stop until she gets it done it's sad like and it's she holds everyone in her team to a higher level and I think and and Satu is just the same like they just hold everyone to a higher level and they have higher expectations and it's it's intense it's so it's hard but it's just like it's inspiring like yeah crazy yeah. so did you train with them like every day or yeah i mean we had we had training every day we did workouts every day individuals all that sort of stuff and that's it's just, awesome yeah yeah that's great yeah i love yeah. getting beat up by them too <laughs> <laughs> i think do you get used to it after a while or not really oh i mean yeah i mean you go into training it's like yeah sab's gonna beat <laughs> i don't want to swear but <laughs> she'll beat my ass like yeah but I mean, you can only go in there and just give it your best shot, and you're going to get better playing against better, better people. So yeah. it was. It's yeah, crazy. You challenge them too, probably. Like <laughs> I with try. Your handles. I try. I try. <laughs> Can't guard those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was such great have, talking with you, Morgan. Of course, I appreciate it. it was so Honored. Much fun. Yeah, but thank you so much, Morgan. It was of amazing. Course, thank of course. You.